hi guys yabus here so today we will be replacing uh, the motor of my Jendi uh, Stealth SHPM 2 horsepower waterfall pump the reason I am doing this is during the frost in Texas this year uh, I think um, the motor surged a bit uh, because this was frozen and then now it's not running sometimes it's running sometimes it's not running it's also tripping the uh, gfci circuit so apparently something is wrong um, you can choose to rebuild the motor uh, but i think uh, i don't know if the if the windings will be okay so it's a bit difficult to diagnose so that's why i just ordered another motor which is uh, the new model is called b 2855 for two horsepower so they look alike the only thing you need to do is just to remove the cables power wiring from the back of the motor and then loosen these bolts holding holding the uh, pump to the motor uh, and then just pull the motor out there is this diffuser plate with two screw two flip set screws so it's easy to take it off and then we come here to diffuser so uh, there's a screw in this one you need a large headed Phillips screwdriver and then this is already loosened up but if you cannot loosen it you need to hold the axle of the motor from here so be careful this is reverse thread so in order to loosen it you need to just turn it the other way and then I think I will get this out Okay, so there's a rubber washer here. Just make sure you don't lose it. And then the next one is to turn the propeller to counterclockwise direction. And again, you, lose it you need to hold it from the back axle of the motor and then turn it so counterclockwise it's up to lose it. One thing you need to be careful about there are two type of types of impellers one is the older ones with division end and lower uh, i think this impeller is mine because if i remove this spring you can see it has an extra extension hence the bushings and the kit the seal kit has a larger inner diameter the newer pumps as the manual says, the revision P or higher, they don't have this extension. So you need to get this seal with a smaller inner ring. The engine is same, the motor is same, doesn't matter, but then the bushing will change according to your impeller. Mine is from Stone Age, so I was pretty sure that it was old. But when I checked, by the way, it's not on the motor body, but it's on the pump housing body. So mine was revision J. Next step is to remove these four bolts holding the housing to the motor. I already loosened three of them. And I will just do the fourth now. So I removed the motor from the housing you can see a lot of dirt and even some animals in it I need to clean it out and then I will start working on the motor Next step is now to 
to remove this powder ring the old one and then I will put the new one in one thing some people warned me that I should not be touching it with my hands because the grease on your hand uh, makes it bad in time so I will just use this nylon cover to put it back into its place I already washed this and it's wet so I believe it will go easily yep new one is good So also, this is the new ring, which is coming to the propeller, uh, to impeller. So you need to put it this way, so the rubber part, the fiber part, will push on this. This is the older one, it also looks okay, but always better to replace it. Once Step you is this up. to remove the connection cover. I removed the conduit head from this motor and then I put it on to this one. My wiring is a bit short, so I brought the motor here finish the connections before I install the impeller so now I will be putting the impeller uh, because I have to work here and my space is very confined uh, I will put the impeller and then I will put the diffuser uh, followed by putting the motor back into the pump body You need to again hold the back of the motor to turn this in. You don't need to tighten it very hard. And then we put this screw in. Don't forget. That's yours. So Okay, we are good. And then comes the diffuser plate. We will put it on. It has just two screws. So make sure it fits well. And before put, I put it here, I will put some grease over this. And then there's another o ring for here. I will clean this surface and also put some pool grease on it before I put it Before back. putting the motor into the pump body, I would suggest that you run it a few seconds, so make sure that it turns, the diffuser turns, and then again, once you put it onto the pump body, just run it a few seconds so that nothing is stuck, nothing is over tightened, the cable, power cable, uh, didn't get disconnected while you were trying to push this in uh, I have a very small space again I have a fence uh, behind this motor so it was a bit of challenging to put this in so I put the eight bolts and I will start tightening these of course it's always a good practice to cross tighten everything you do so a little bit tighten one and then go to the other side tighten the other opposite and then do another one on the opposite side and then tighten one on this side so that should be in, in a kind of pattern so that you don't tighten one side and then you go to the other side and tighten them all so and the pump is running well apparently the lid is sucking air a bit so i need to check the holding later uh, but so far so good thanks for watching